looking for a job sucks. Well, let's be honest, right? All these internet people are like, oh, get motivated. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not that easy. It's a lot of this and a lot of this and a lot of nobody calling you back or emailing you back. It's horrible. It's soul sucking. I get it. I understand. But in this video, we're going to talk about some tips that will definitely help make your life easier. Obviously, we're going to cover some websites that will make your searching a lot easier too. And the last tip is definitely going to, I think, the best just because other people are going to look for the job for you. And I think that is the best because it's less on you and allows you to focus more on other things like, you know, family and life and not soul sucking job searching. So anyways, let's get right to it. First one, we all know Indeed. Come on, if you're looking for a job, all of you have been like, da 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 Indeed, sign up, make an account, da 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 There's several problems with Indeed though. A, you don't know how long the job posting's been up half the time until you start reading through. All right, Indeed is good for, hey, I'm just, man, I'm frustrated with my job, I want new, something new, and hey, maybe, maybe you send a message and they bite back. That's awesome, because that's what it's there for. Most of the time I felt like, and when I was searching, I would get nothing back. The other problem is some of the postings are really old. The HR team might have thrown up there, got somebody right away, hired them, and just never contacted Indeed and took it down, or however their system works. I've never been on the looking for a person side of that. So if you know, let me know in the comments below. The other drawback to Indeed is I feel like they're unrealistic a lot of the times. And what I mean by that is a lot of times they're going to be like, I want A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And you might have A, B, C skills. That's it. And they're like, well, we want this and we want a degree. All right, so they're trying to replace Joe Smo that just left or Sheila or whatever. And no one else is looking for that job that has that kind of, you know, repertoire or that many skills. So it can be a very unmotivating, especially when you're like, oh, and you want a degree on top of all that? Like, come on, let's be realistic. Don't let that get you down though. Still apply. If you got half the skills that they're looking for, I suggest you still apply. Let's say you're just an electrician. That's fine, apply anyways, because most time factories are like, ah, we can show you the mechanical side, but we got no true electrician. They might have one that they always have to call for everything and there's you know three to four shifts or however many shifts or your plant does, because a lot of them have, we have, there's so many different shifts that main and stuff. HVAC, if you got skills in HVAC, perfect. You basically fit all the criteria most companies are looking for anyways. But hey, maybe you're a car mechanic and you want to get an industrial maintenance. That one might be a little harder. Uh, you might have to go to a lot longer searching or getting somebody to search for you. We'll go over that later in a little bit. And if you're just getting out of school, you're like, hey, where do I go? Indeed is a good start. If you're not having any luck, again, stick with the video and I'll, we'll go over how to find help you find a job. The other one is ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter is just like the little brother of Indeed. Most of the stuff that's on Indeed is on a ZipRecruiter, but I feel like ZipRecruiter is a little bit more for, at least when I was looking, not so much maintenance or industrial maintenance, so I wouldn't even really bother. Number three is Career Builder. I don't really don't think Career Builder is really a thing anymore. To be honest, don't even waste your time. And unless you know, if you're going to management or team lead and moving up, maybe Career Builder, but I just don't see much on Career Builder anymore haven't really used it. Maybe I'm missing out. The other one, just contacting the companies directly. Like a lot of the Amazons, they have subcontractors that fill the roles of maintenance, whatnot. It's a good time to get on with those. They start out like 18 to $20 an hour, which is a good start. You get your, you know, basic bread and butter maintenance in, and Amazons are going up everywhere, everywhere. Like I feel like every time I turn a corner, there's a new Amazon factory. So but we're in demand, shoot for one of them. If you, that's not what you want to do, that's fine too. But if you just want to get your feet wet, everything like that. Fifth one is LinkedIn. I know what you're thinking now. It's kind of like a Facebook kind of thing. Yes and no. Um, don't treat it like Facebook. It's more professional. And I think you should act a little differently, a little more professional on LinkedIn. I know there's quite a few people in our trade that are like very strong headed and I can say whatever. That's fine. I love freedom of speech, but in terms of the younger generation want to progress their skills and everything else like that you gotta be careful of digital age so treat linkedin like a professional version of facebook on a side note though if you're getting value from this please hit like subscribe I'm trying to do these videos and even if you don't hit like and subscribe i'm still making them so don't worry about that part all right now here's why i think linkedin is the best and that is there's so many recruiters on there so make your profile 
put your thing out there that you're looking for a job and then you're going to see a bunch of recruiters probably message you i mean covid's going on right now so there might be might be a little harder but there's a lot of recruiters that are incentivized by money obviously that's how it works is they're going to get money by putting you somewhere <clears throat> that's great because you can message several recruiting companies and be like hey this is my situation this is what i want to do and a lot of them will be like man i i know like four factories right now that would take you so let's get you some interviews going now 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 which is great because it gives you options and options the more options you have the better choice you can make the only problem is i don't want to see ethics but sometimes they know it's a bad company and they're still going to try to place you because that's how they make their money so you do have to protect yourself do some research on the company and i don't think they're going to do anything unethical but in terms of them making money if you sign the dotted line saying you're going to work there that's where they get paid so be aware i do some research on the company before you you know sign your dotted line hopefully these tips have been helpful to you all and don't forget you know message some of the people you used to work with sometimes they're going to be looking for hey we need one more person and whatnot so don't forget you know just the normal social network networking style setup to i've gotten a few jobs just because i worked with other people and they're like hey man we, we could use you we got your skill set right here we need it ladies and gentlemen don't forget smile it's going to be beautiful.